Welcome back for yet another exciting Python video where we actually simulate the uh, effects of global warming by estimating how high the oceans will rise over the next 25 years. So it has been kind of scientifically thrown around that they'll rise about 1.6 millimeters a year. Now uh, the problem is us Americans don't like millimeters, we like inches. So we're gonna write a code to mimic the effects of global warming on the effects of the ocean in millimeters and inches. So right here, notice I put out to the screen, year, tab, tab, rise, millimeters, tab, tab, rise, inches. And I have a for loop. And I ask you to look at the range. Do you see anything interesting about that? Well, in previous examples, I would have written it this way, 1, 26. But no, I can actually say 25. When you do this and just pass it one parameter to the range function, it starts at 0 and it goes to 24, which is 25 times. So here, what I do is I add 1.6 to a variable called rise, and it accumulates. I take the rise, multiply it by the conversion factor to get it to um, inches. And then I put out to the screen. Now notice I add 1 to it, because if I don't, I'm going to get 0 through 24, and I want 1 through 25. Tab, tab, format, rise, two decimal positions. Tab, tab, format inches, to two decimal positions, end of print. I want to show you the alternative way of coding the output that I've been showing you all along. I create columns. Here's the first column, the second column, and the third column. Now I do want to make a change. I am unhappy with this because this should be right justified. We want our numbers to be right justified. So let's change that. All right, so column one is left justified five characters. Column two, identified by the one, is right justified, 10 with two decimal positions, and it puts uh, two spaces between this column, two spaces between this column. The column, which is the third, but we identify it with a two, is right justified, 10 positions, two decimals. This goes in column one, column two, column three. We don't need this. Goodbye. And we don't need any of this. And I hope I don't mess up the code too much. Well, notice the difference I'm doing here is it starts at 0 through 24, but I'm adding 1 to it just for simplicity, so we put 1 out to the screen. So let's run the code. I hope it works. We don't get an error. And there you go. Look how beautiful that code is. Now notice, I want to make sure you know, we start 0 through 24 and we add 1. If you don't give it a beginning and end, it starts at 0 up to here. 